Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so I am finishing up my coverage with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and this was a video that I thought I had to let you guys know about individually and that is, this is now the new king of battery life for all current smartphones. Now the Mate 10 Pro, I did my standard battery test, which if you don't know is an hour of uh, streaming and an hour of gaming and multiple things thereafter. Now with this one, I actually was able to push it further just cause it wasn't dying. And it inspired me to do not just a heavy user test, which I am a heavy user. So when I really stress the phone out, it definitely drains quicker. However, also a light user test is well, many of you often ask, well, how long can it last if I'm just a light user? I just use it, you know, for calls, for a little bit of social media, sometimes a video here and there, sometimes a game here and there. How long can it really last me? So let's get to it. So the uh, previous one was the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, that one did get over six hours of screen on time consistently. Uh, now, if you're not getting that kind of time on your Note 8, make sure to check out our video left in the description down below on how to speed up and improve your battery life on the Note 8. And one of those will be coming out for the Mate 10 Pro as well. However, this one has consistently stayed towards uh, with the heavy user mark of over six hours and 30 minutes. At this uh, test for heavy usage, uh, we were able to get almost seven hours. It was six hours and 48 minutes. The big difference between this one is that this actually allowed me to still actually use it on the same day I transferred all the content over. Now, just to give you an idea, when you transfer content over, that's a huge battery drain. I mean, you're talking about when we do it from the Pixel XL, when we do it from the Note, or we do it from the iPhone X. To transfer everything over typically drains your battery a lot. Yet, actually, I was able to still use the phone throughout this entire time. So this kind of screen on time is really impressive. Uh, as most people will tell you, anything over six hours is just great battery life. I mean, good is over five hours and everything over six hours is just great battery life. So really stood out with that. Um, I will also say though, uh, the biggest thing is with this one, I actually did three hours of gaming, almost three hours of gaming. So again, a lot of usage overall with this. But here's the most impressive thing about this smartphone, and that is the standby time is the best I have ever seen in a smartphone. Now, what do I mean by standby time? I mean, the times you're not using it, will it drain? No, not at all. This phone I would wake up to with basically the same battery percentage exactly as I had the night before. Now this is due apparently to their AI chip that they have inside of here. You know, they don't call it a regular processor, uh, a regular CPU. It's basically an intelligent CPU that has uh, the ability to actually really adjust everything accordingly. And I do find that even though I normally run this test with the biggest brightness, 100% uh, and everything full throttle, that it does adjust accordingly. Like I'll turn my screen back and I'm like, hey, you're on auto brightness all of a sudden. Or hey, you know, this app closed when it was open previously. So like I could tell it was doing stuff in the background to optimize the performance. Uh, no matter how many times I manually moved it up and anytime I would notice it, I would immediately move it back up to its strongest uh, ability to drain. It lasted a long time. And how I really was impressed by that was this kind of battery life uh yeah basically almost three full days on for a light user so when i did a light usage on it the battery life was almost three full days of battery uh and again this is due a lot because of the standby time this phone does not drain when you do not use it and that's just really impressive. And I have all my social media stuff on here. I have all my YouTube stuff on here. I have uh, all my games on here, all, all my emails, five different email accounts. So all of this is being used even throughout these days. So it was just really impressive to see just how long of a battery life this has. Now, of course, the screen on time was much less because it was three days. So I wasn't using it as much, uh, again, to simulate a light user, how they would act with it. 
but easily i would say an average user is going to get at least a day and a half of usage with this if not two days this is the most impressive battery life we have seen on a smartphone and again i feel it really gives a credibility to it's not about how big the battery is necessarily it's the software behind it because this is about a 4000 milliamp battery however we've seen smartphones i mean i've seen smartphones up to 7000 milliamps on the battery now that go for like under 300 dollars but they don't last anywhere near as long i've seen smartphones i've had a smartphone about 5000 battery and again they don't last as long and why is that because it's more about the software how it's utilized the display all the processes that run in the background and that is something that this phone has done better than anyone else when it comes to battery life. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe to check out all of our other coverage on the Mate 10 Pro. We will be having the full review soon, as well as our famous 10 hidden features video on it. So yeah, some really impressive stuff from this phone. I could definitely see why it would have easily been in the top five smartphones if I had gotten it before the end of 2017, and why it's one of the best phones to get right now, and the best when it comes to battery life. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.